What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be giving my commentary, my thoughts on the latest audio that the original Straight No Chaser has released, a conversation between she and Ariane. And I want to say there were some context clues that have led me to believe that this audio is semi-recent. You know, I would say definitely under um, two years old. I would say about a year and a half old. And I'm going to get into my reasons why. Now, before I get into my commentary, I ask that you all please hit the like button on this video. Even if you were to hit this dislike button on this video, that would really help because then YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy discussing love and marriage Huntsville. Hitting those like or dislike buttons, it really stimulates the video. YouTube knows that it kind of gives people an opinion and a feeling. So that's why we ask you all to do that as content creators. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit and definitely turn on your notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. All right. So, and of course, everything that I'm saying here is alleged in my opinion. So, um, Arianne said quite a few various things to the original Straight No Chaser. One was she actually curses out Martell when people call her names like coleslaw and Martell does not correct them. And, you know, she pretty much was saying she did not understand why he would not defend her because supposedly he loves her. Now, we know that publicly Martel has fake dated Sheree. We know that he has sent flowers to Melody and he willingly he tried to say in Carlos's comments that he did not want to film the scene with Melody where they met at some sort of like a diner or coffee shop or restaurant and he got her like a hot tea. You know, he was trying to pretend like he did not want to do that. But according to Ariane, he loves her. Now, very recently when he interviewed with Tasha Kay, he did pretty much say that Ariane was his lady. But, you know, I kind of feel like it's all a front so that they look like a very united front because, you know, he's facing these charges, in my opinion. Now, um, the original Straight No Chaser was saying to Ariane, you know, do you feel like he took advantage of you because you were so young when the two of you got together? Now, okay, she, you, we can pretty much assume that she got with Martel when she was between the ages of 21 and 25, right? So, you know, age is relative. There is a saying that says you only are as old as you feel. I definitely think that there is some truth to that. Aaliyah saying that age ain't nothing but a number. I do feel like you have to cross age 21 before that is a factor. Um, but we all know who allegedly she married. So I could totally see why he would pin that song for her to sing as a teenager. But between the ages of 21 and 25, which is, I believe, the age range that Ariane was in when she met Martel, while that is super young, you may not have experienced finishing college, being a homeowner, a working professional, being married, being a parent. In Ariane's individual case, she was already a mother. She had started college. I would hope she was working at the time. So she had some adult experiences. Even to add to that, I would hope that her parents instilled some morals in her so that she would have known, maybe I should not get with this married man. Now, obviously she did, we all know that she did, but I'm making the point that she, is, she was still old enough to know right from wrong, to know some basic rights from wrong. So like the whole young thing, I thought that that was laughable. And Ariane, of course, fed right into it. But honey, you were old enough to know that you should not date a married man. Ariane said that Melody sold her soul for the TV show. No, Ariane. Martel sold out his family 
his married life, him being able to be in the same household as his wife raising their kids, he sold all of them out for some kitty cat. He was the one that was doing the selling out, not Melody. And also, you know, Nay cut to a panel discussion, a panel that Martel was on. And I know he mentioned Delicious name. Delicious is from um, the show with Flavor Flay. And um, she's from Detroit. And Nay actually basically showed where he was saying that he needed to have his ego stroked. And eventually the cheating felt like normal. And, you know, Ariane was almost trying to converse and say that, you know, it felt like normal because Melody, almost insinuating like Melody was cool with it. Obviously, that's not the case because Melody left him. She filed for divorce. The divorce has been finalized, so she wasn't cool with it. What made it normal was on Martel's end, him constantly cheating, him constantly communicating with you and you letting him, Ariane, it was normal for the two of you, but it is abnormal for a married person to cheat on their spouse. And you could say it's common. You could say it's common in a lot of marriages for people to disrespect their marriages, but the behavior of cheating, that is not normal. Now, um, at whatever time that this recording was done, Ariane said that she was not sleeping with Martel. So obviously this conversation between Ariane and Nay occurred when Ariane was really irritated with Martel to the point where she was not giving him any. And then obviously things have changed because when Tasha K interviewed Martel, you know, he was putting on that they are such a united front that it is a romantic relationship. But I will circle back to the time range when I think that this conversation took place. Ariane admitted to not taking um, responsibility. She said that karma is real and she's praying for the lesson. I hope that she is sincere. You know, sometimes when, you know, this can be anyone, not just Ariane. You know, when your back is up against the wall, when you are facing challenge after challenge, that can definitely make you spiritual. That can definitely make you utter words like God, Jesus, prayer, faith. You know, you might even get up on Sunday morning and go to somebody's church and lift up your hands and put some money in the plate because you need him to work on your behalf. So whenever this conversation took place, it was pretty serious for Ariane. She said that she was not giving Martel any. That could have been cap. She may not have been truthful. But then she's mentioning that karma is real and she's praying for the lesson. And I'm guessing, I'm going to circle back, but I'm guessing it was around the time he was really out there fake dating Sheree. All of the blogs picked it up and she felt away. And she gave other context clues as well. I was surprised that Ariane did not know how she was affecting a married woman's life. She actually said that to the original Straight No Chaser. You know, I did. I had no idea, Nay, how I was affecting this married woman's life. How could you, Ariane? But I had to tell myself while I was listening to the audio that not everyone is raised the same way. You know, there's what's called the golden rule treat others how you want to be treated in return. And there is, again, if you were raised right and morals were instilled in you, or if you were blessed to grow up in a two-parent household and your parents were married, you know, you would have some respect for marriage if it was a healthy marriage. You know what I'm saying? My parents' marriage was healthy enough for me to respect it. And, and also I respect myself. And I would rather embrace solitude and learn how to enjoy myself as a single person, take myself out and have fun, than to be so desperate for a man that I'm willing to take shorts and get with a married man. I'm just so thankful for my mindset and for um, just to be at this 
point of solitude. I just hope that Ariane gets there. She's raising two kids. One of them is a young lady and she's about to enter teenagehood. And so I just really hope Ariane gets it together mentally. Now, she actually said that at the time of this audio that she was getting her karma. Now, in my opinion, her life must suck because that's not your normal statement. Uh, a lot of times people will say that they are blessed and highly favored. You know, when you say, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How you doing? Like, it's not normal to say like, girl, I'm getting my karma right now. <laughs> like that. I thought that was so interesting that she would say that. So whatever time frame this was, I wish like Nay, when she does her graphics, that she would give a time frame for the conversation. If you all are following the entire Shirley Strawberry Ernesto Williams saga on phone calls from prison, shout out to that channel. Lisa on her graphics, she will put the time frame of the conversation. And it's just a great point of reference because I have thoughts like, okay, so this was definitely before Shirley Strawberry came on the radio and read her own letter. Okay, this was before, you know, this story really hit the blogs. Okay, so this is after Shirley read her letter. This is after, you know, I have those thoughts and it just kind of really helps me to connect with the content of the conversation. So I really wish Nay would do that as well, but it's okay because I am convinced that it was relatively semi-recent. So her this is I'm, I'm about to give like some time references as to why I think this audio is definitely under two years old. I'm thinking just a year to a year and a half old. So she mentioned her interview with Tasha K. That was in January of 2022. During this audio in like the first half of it, maybe even the first quarter of it, um, Arian joked about how, yeah, Martel wants to try and fight Marso. We know that that was season five and we know that season five ran in 2022. So we have the Tasha K interview right at the beginning of 2022. That fight episode would have ran like in the summer. And this is just, I'm making this video on March the 2nd, 2024. So you're talking just a little over a year and a half. So I, in my opinion, just based off of everything that continues to transpire involving Martel, I consider this to be semi-recent. So in the only thing that I can pinpoint that would really trigger Ariane to not want to give him any and to say she's praying, it has to have been the fake dating with Sheree. I think that really sent her over the edge. And I think that it really hurt her feelings. And so for her to talk about taking accountability, it's like, wow, if this conversation is like a year and a half old, you know, it took her like eight, nine years to really get to that point. So be thankful to everyone who's watching this video. Be thankful for your growth and your intellect and your spirituality that helps you grow you know, a little, maybe even at a, at a better pace. But growth is still a blessing whenever you get it. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ariane said that she cannot blame Melody for capitalizing off of her pain. Well, Ariane, you and Martel literally inflicted that pain upon Melody. So you really kind of opened the door for her to quote unquote capitalize. I disagree. Melody's not even capitalizing anyway. She was just ready to leave. And she coincidentally was filming a reality TV show that according to her ex-husband, he was the one who pitched it. You know, he, that's what he told Tasha Kay. So Arian, you and Martel laid out the red carpet for Melody to inspire so many women with her story of being betrayed. And if you all watched her lovely interview um, on the radio station, 94.1 WHRP, Melody explained that when it comes to reality TV, there's going to be a shift. Things happen. It's called life. So even if the show started out with the intent 
to show their home building business and how they work in real estate as a whole. And then, you know, she finally got tired of Martel and his disrespect. That is the shift in reality TV. So I, you, there is no capitalizing off of it. That was the shift. And that was the shift in her personal life as well. And she was ready to leave. And she got her ducks in a row. And she spiritually got her ducks in a row. And she gave him the deuce deuce. Also, Ariane thinks that we would feel differently about her if she was on the TV show. Wrong, wrong, Ariane. You are so wrong about that, honey. No, 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 no. Even if you had a voice on the TV show, I actually think that it would be worse. If every single week we had to look to a scene from you, it would be so annoying because it's like, how the heck do you cheat on Melody Cherie with an Ariane? Listen to how she talks. Look at her mindset. Oh, I'm so glad that I was raised how I was, even with childhood trauma. Like, I, I'll still take my childhood over Ariane's. Who are her parents? What have they done? You know, so no, it, it, we would not feel differently about you, Ariane. It would totally be in the worst direction if you were on the show. She even said that she is not mad at Melody. That makes sense, Ariane, because what do you have to be mad at her for? Melody has done nothing to you. All she's done is live her life and has worked hard to make money and provide for her children and be happy. So you have no reason to be mad at Melody. I always felt like Ariane wanted to be exposed. So during this latest audio, you know, she talked about, you know, and Funky Dineva made that video. And, you know, Martel and Melody did this to me, you know, and everyone hates me. And these women, if, if, if I could be on the show, these women would feel differently. I always felt like she authorized whoever the source was to DM Funky with her name and her details. I always felt like she authorized it because she is the most vocal mistress I have ever seen in my life. No shame, no pride, no conviction. She had to have authorized that information going to Funky Dineva. I have always, always felt that way. Now, Ariane said that Martel loves her but Marceau allegedly does not love the women that he allegedly gets down with. I don't think that that's anything to even brag about. That's not anything to compare, like almost like making a uh, Martel, you know, this knight in shining armor because he loves his mistress. That makes absolutely no sense. And of course, this is why the two of you are drawn to each other. You are definitely a match. I won't say a match made in heaven, but Ariane and Martel, definitely equivalent. Ariane said that Martel still has not taken accountability for what he has done to her. I really wish she would flush that out and elaborate on that. Like, I want bullet points. I want like a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc. I want bullet points. What has he done? Because in this earthly life, us human beings have choices. God has given us free will, and this is totally legit. I know that we have rules to live by. I know that there's man-made laws to maintain civility here on earth, but ultimately we have the choice to do good or bad. When y'all met at that barbecue and he was hitting on you, you did not have to give him your phone number. Or maybe let's say he took off his wedding band at the barbecue. And then as you're conversing with him, you realize that he's married. You did not have to be intimate with him. Then after you were intimate with him, you did not have to continue being intimate with a married man. So uh, miss me with what Martel needs to take accountability for. So definitely this conversation with Nay, she and Martel were having beef. Not the kind of beef that, you know, you cook in the oven. Now, Ariane said that she does not have to chase a ninja. She gets what she wants. 
Well, first off in life, Ariane, you will get some no's in life. You may not get that promotion that you want or that job that you wanted. You may not even get the romantic relationship that you wanted with a particular person, or you may make an offer on a home and it does not go through. Some prayer request, the answer is no. But Ariane, you did not get what you wanted because I doubted that you wanted to be a mistress. I'm sure that you wanted true, honest love. So that was my commentary on the latest audio. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. Please hit the like button on this video. It is a free way of supporting the channel. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I hope that your weekend is going great. I did make it to the gym. I did visit my godparents. And um, obviously, I've created some content. There is an influencer here on YouTube. Her name is Whitney something. She's She is Caucasian. She's like married to a pilot and has like, you know, uh, kids. But anyway, she always says like, if you can do like three things a day, that is definitely enough in being productive, whether it's like laundry, clean the bathroom, go grocery shopping or exercise, go grocery shopping and journal or work out, grocery shopping, call a friend, you know, those three things. And she also says, like, if you grab something from one room or one part of your kitchen and then you take it somewhere else, when you leave that room, just take that item with you. Or if you see something that's out of place and you need to put it back, just grab it. And that is like a quick, easy way each day to kind of minimize on cl uh, clutter. So those are things that I try to be mindful of, you know, day in and day out. All right, y'all. Well, thanks again for watching this video. I will definitely talk with you all soon and take good care. Bye.